for patients trapped by depression and its treatment side effects. Now there's a new way back to the true you. Introducing Neurostar TMS Therapy, the new way back. This video is intended for patients seeking information on Neurostar TMS Therapy. Patients Garrett and Martha share their experiences with depression and Neurostar TMS Therapy. I was severely depressed over a period of three years. It continued to get worse. I had trouble with uh, dealing with everyday life, and I went to several different doctors. The first doctor prescribed an uh, antidepressant for me, which made me sick. We tried other things. I had stomach problems with them with that one. And then I went on to another doctor, tried a couple different antidepressants. Nothing seemed to work really well. I had a severe allergic reaction, uh, kept changing. My life was spiraling. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I had trouble working. Uh, my family really was very poorly impacted by the whole um, problem of my depression. And uh, it was very difficult for me. During that time was probably the darkest time of my life. Um, I was sad and miserable all the time and very teary. Um, my relationships suffered with my family and um, my friends. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, involves the application of magnetic field pulses to non-invasively stimulate the brain. When used as a treatment for major depression, the TMS coil is placed over the left prefrontal cortex, a region of the brain involved in mood regulation, and repeatedly energized. Each time the coil is energized, a magnetic field pulse lasting 200 microseconds enters the cortex and briefly induces an electrical current to flow. Neuronetics has developed the Neurostar TMS therapy system as a therapy for major depression. The Neurostar system consists of power electronics, a touchscreen control panel, an electromagnetic coil, a single-use treatment link that is positioned between the coil and the patient's scalp, and a treatment chair with integrated head support. The Neurostar TMS system is prescribed for use by a trained psychiatrist. A typical acute course of therapy with a Neurostar system involves 20 to 30 outpatient treatment sessions and spans four to six weeks. Each session requires 37 minutes to complete. The patient is awake and alert during the procedure. No anesthesia or sedation is required. Upon completion of the session, the patient can immediately resume normal activities. To begin use of the Neurostar TMS system, Treatment location and treatment level are determined by locating the patient's motor cortex and defining the motor threshold. The motor cortex is located by energizing the coil with single pulses as the coil is moved over the motor cortex region. The coil is positioned over the area that produces a visually identifiable movement of the right thumb when stimulated. Motor threshold is the minimum stimulator setting required to activate the region of the motor cortex that controls the right thumb. Treatment power is then based on the observed motor threshold. The location of treatment is also determined relative to the motor cortex. To begin treatment, the coil is moved 5 centimeters anterior from the motor threshold location along a parasagittal line. This positions the coil over the left prefrontal cortex. The treatment can then be started. The Neurostar TMS system delivers a sequence of 3,000 pulses during a treatment session. The system presents a summary of the completed session for the operator's review. The patient is awake and alert and can immediately return to work or other activities upon completion of the procedure. What can you expect when receiving Neurostar TMS therapy? The device will turn on and off every few seconds. During that, those few moments that it was on, it was like a, a gentle tapping to my head. I mean, it wasn't even a feeling. It was almost the, the sound. It didn't hurt. It wasn't painful. It was almost therapeutic, I would say, um, causing me to fall asleep sometimes. 
I would sit there for 40 minutes while this machine would tick very quickly for maybe four to five seconds, and then there would be a rest for 20 seconds maybe, I'm not sure. And that would go on for that 40-minute period, and then it was over. There was nothing invasive. I would get out of the chair, and I would feel fine. I had no headache. I had no residual effect. And I would get out, and I would leave, and I would take the train or drive home and go on with the rest of my day. How safe is Neurostar TMS therapy? Neurostar TMS therapy has been demonstrated to be safe and tolerable in the treatment of depressed patients. Throughout the Neurostar studies, more than 10,000 active TMS treatments were safely performed. Patients treated with Neurostar TMS did not experience weight gain, sexual difficulties, stomach problems, dry mouth, or seizures. Additionally, no negative effects on memory or the ability to concentrate were reported by patients. What are the potential side effects? The most common side effects were headache and scalp pain or discomfort during active treatments. These side effects were generally mild to moderate, occurring less frequently after the first week of treatments. In clinical trial, less than 5% of patients stop treatments because of side effects. How well does Neurostar TMS therapy work? In an open-label trial, which is most like a real-world practice, approximately one out of every two patients treated with Neurostar TMS therapy experienced significant improvement in depression symptoms. Patients also experienced significant improvement in anxiety, appetite, aches and pains, and energy. Also, one out of three patients experienced virtually complete symptom resolution. Before, when I was going through depression, I felt hopeless. And since TMS, my perspective of life has been so, is so positive that I know there's hope for, for anything, um, especially for people that are depressed. Which patients can be treated with Neurostar TMS therapy? Neurostar TMS therapy is indicated for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adult patients who have failed to achieve satisfactory improvement from one prior antidepressant medication at or above the minimal effective dose and duration in the current episode. In the Neurostar clinical trials, patients with this indication were treated with a median of four treatment attempts, one of which was of adequate dose and duration. By the end of the treatment, once the treatment was pretty well finished, things were better than I could have imagined. After that six weeks, I was so excited that my life was starting to resume and could actually get better and, and that I had more to look forward to and better things to look forward to. It was just very exciting for me. Neurostar TMS Therapy, The New Way Back. Not every patient may benefit from TMS therapy. Neurostar TMS therapy may be contraindicated in some patients. To understand about the risks of Neurostar TMS therapy and which patients should not receive Neurostar TMS therapy, please ask your physician or refer to the Neurostar patient education brochure. Additional information is also available at neurostartms.com.